Hello, my name is Luke, and for those of you that don't know me, I've been doing this YouTube thing for about six years now. Well, I've been away from the platform for about six months. Uh, my last video was June of 2017. But hey, I'm back now. My channel has touched on a variety of topics. From technology, to travel, to social work, to even Axe body spray years ago. I still shudder at the thought of making that video. The name Dr. Tech View derives from both my passion for technology combined with my interest in medicine. And to date, I've never really talked about my journey and opened up about what it took for me to get from undergrad to medical school. And today, that's gonna change. My journey, like many others, is a non-traditional one. I did not matriculate directly into medical school after finishing my undergrad degree. Instead, I was left wondering what to do with the dun dun dun, a gap year. There are many differing opinions on gap years, with some people finding them to be relaxing and peaceful ways to de-stress before medical school, and others just wanting to get into medical school right after their undergrad and just keep that flow of academia going. And initially, I fell into the latter group. I really just wanted to go to medical school right out of college. I felt that my research background and my educational background were sufficient and up to par to reach my dream medical school or any medical school really. And sometimes guys, reality can be hard to earn up. And some of you may get in right out of your undergrad and some of you may have to take a gap year either by choice or you don't get in and you have a gap year so the question then beckons, what are you going to do? And for me, I really had to shift my mindset. Instead of traveling, which I love to do, I mean, you just tell me a place and I'll be there. I'm always down. I decided to strength strengthen, blah, blah, blah. I decided to strengthen my academic background and pursue a master's degree or a post-baccalaureate degree nationwide. I looked for different programs and I really just wanted to bolster myself and prepare myself better for medical school. I did find many great programs to apply to, namely the UNT Masters of Health Science, the Penn Post Baccalaureate Program, and the FIU Certificate in Molecular and Biomedical Sciences. However, one program really caught my eye, the Masters of Pharmacology Program at the Tulane University School of Medicine in New Orleans. <laughs> Yes, that New Orleans. A couple of pointers about the program. It's only a one year program, and I know a lot of gap year pro uh, master's programs are one to two years, so it's really good to have it short and concise, but don't worry, it definitely packs a punch with a lot of classes and coursework and research options and other activities. I mean, we're in New Orleans. It's always a party over here. Just kidding, study hard. <laughs> The class size is usually around 35 students. Right now, my class size is around 30 kids. And I really can say without a doubt that I've made a lot of friends in this program, more so than I thought coming in. And it's really good to just get out of your comfort zone. And it's even easier when your class size is so small. Cause say you go to coming from a big undergraduate institution, some of your major courses, there's 200 students. And really the teacher doesn't get to know you and really some of the even students don't even know who you are if you don't come to class. Well, in this program with only 30 kids, first of all, we know who doesn't come to class. Second of all, the professors, they really, really are invested in getting to know you and seeing that you succeed. Some professors in particular are doctors or PH, or I mean MDs or MD PhDs, and they really want to see you excel, not just at this level, but at the next level and actually help you get into medical school or dental school or a PhD, whatever you really want to do. Third, and this is a big one, in the Tulane Masters of Pharmacology program, we take one class with the medical school students and not just any medical school students, the second year medical students. So we're taking medical pharmacology with them. It's a two semester course. Most of it was last semester. Now we're in the spring semester and we're just about finishing up that course. And I can say without a doubt that it was quite challenging. You're just thrown into so many drugs, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of drugs, and if you know the mechanism of action, which frankly I love, and that's why I was looking forward to this program. But say that's not what you love, I mean, it's gonna definitely be pretty tough to get a hold of all the mechanisms and knowing 
different adverse reactions and different symptoms that may call for you know certain medication over others short-term long-term treatments and we call prophylaxis i don't want to get too medical and technical with it but yeah it was tough but it was rewarding and last and definitely not least tulane school of medicine is a highly regarded program it's well established and it has a track record of getting kids from say getting being say you consider yourself lost or in your gap year and you don't know what's going to happen it has a track record of getting kids from there into medical school you come here after you get accepted you apply you get accepted you come here and you just see what i'm talking about it really is a worthwhile experience i will leave a link in the description down below for the tulane masters of pharmacology program as well as a link to a list of other master's programs that I found looking online now and the, beyond the ones that I mentioned earlier. And notably of those programs were the University of Tennessee Master's in Pharmacology program, which looks quite similar to the Tulane program and Michigan's MS in Pharmacology program. And I mean, who wouldn't want to go there to the big house and study at the University of the GOAT, Tom Brady the comeback kid. I'm currently applying to medical school and I'll be hearing back in February, so stay tuned for that. But I can easily say without a doubt that this program has helped me, whether it be as a talking point at interviews, because trust me, you will get asked about the Tulane pharmacology program and what pharmacology is in general. Everyone will tell you it's pharmacy or pharmacy school. You gotta tell them it's in the medical school or even on the interview trail, sometimes you stay at guest houses, or, you know, hosts, student hosts will put you up in their room. And it turns out that at quite a few places that I went to, the student host was either a Tulane alumni himself or a friend right there in the program that everyone happened to know went to Tulane. And some of them even did the pharmacology program. So it just goes to show you that Tulane master students are everywhere killing it in med school and maybe even dental school, who knows? So that's really it for this video, guys. I just wanted to call attention to the program that I'm currently in. I know many of you that actually used to watch my videos or might be watching now might have been wondering where have I been for six months, not in Dallas anymore. I'm in New Orleans, NOLA, baby. And I do know that a lot of medical, YouTube, medical school or doctor YouTubers already exist, but a lot of them tell the story generally of going straight from undergrad to medical school, or I know there's some that take a gap year by choice. I'm kind of giving you a different perspective. Say you're a student that, you know, you perceive yourself as, you know, having, being a failure or you didn't make it, so now what are you gonna do? Kind of, you're having these worries or concerns. I wanna be there for those kind of students, people that kind of need some kind of guidance and support, and I hope that I can be someone to help provide that for you and help you along your journey, because if this is really what you wanna do, Medicine is not an easy task. It's never going to be easy. It's a lifelong learning experience and you're going to make mistakes. You're going to, you know, get knocked down. You're going to question why did I get myself into this so much studying, you know, from undergrad, another four years medical school, four years at least of residency. And even then you'll still be working and working hard. You know, it's not going to ever be easy. Keep believing in yourself. Keep believing this. I touched my camera lens. Keep believing in yourself. Work as hard as you can and never stop fighting for your dreams. I know it's cheesy, I know everyone says it, but trust me, it's true. And it's really helped me having that change of mindset to viewing a gap year as a bad thing, turning it into positivity, turning it into an experience, not just make friends, experience a new city, but also, I guess, become a better studier. I've really improved my study habits. I might even make a video on that soon. Comment below if you have any suggestions or questions for me and I'll be happy to answer them or you can shoot me a message. I think my email is also on my YouTube page so shoot me an email if you have a really personal question. Drop a like on this video if you found it helpful and I hope you did. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace guys.